Okay, here we are at 2263 North Rule Street. There's a view of the front. Quiet neighborhood, it's got a neighborhood watch sign. There's a property possibly could be a good comp. It's for sale. Shows activity in the area. Right there you can hop on I-70. And we've got a house right there that they're doing some uh, work on. And you've got a dead end street right here onto the highway. So it's actually, as you can hear, pretty quiet. On the outside, you've got a house on the hill. Obviously, we got stills that the roof is bad. You do have a one car underground uh, garage, big fenced in backyard as well in a small alley. I guess if you really wanted to, you could put a uh, some gravel out there and make parking from the rear, but you've got garage access. Obviously, you need some roof. And you can see some of the shingles got blown off, and that's why we have all the roofing damage. Needs to have the gutter repaired on the one side. Some downspouts missing. Um, need to remove the tree in front and repair or replace the uh, gutter on the side and there is a back entrance. So we'll go on the inside folks. And you do have proper handrails. Aluminum siding. Okay, here we are on the inside. Here's a view of the living room. Old carpet, needs paint. Here is the fallen in insulation from the kitchen. I believe that's a complete redo. It's been leaking from the roof. Obviously the roof needs to be replaced. The subfloor is damp from underneath, so you'll probably have to pull that as well. There's the entry to the basement. So it is an Eden area. We've got this nice little cubby hole. Although the washer and dryer hookups are not there, I might put them in that closet. Then go down the hallway. We have a closed closet there. I have one of the bedrooms here. Everything looks pretty good. There is a proper closet. We have the bathroom. Subfloor is weak right here by the tub. It's a little soft. Uh, but actually, the tile might be able to keep that. And basically just get somebody to uh, uh, etch the tub and tile. You do have a grab bar. Small vanity. The throne. Grab bars. Older wooden windows. Single pane. There is no power outlet, so you probably want to pop in a GFI. Maybe replace the medicine cabinet. And you do have a, a uh, linen closet right here. You might want to redo that a little bit. Then you have the second bedroom. A closet. Ceiling, although pink, is all in good shape on these. Do you need to put a door instead of the accordion thing and you have an accordion door there you'd probably want to replace that as well and that's about it for the first floor folks and here's your half bath downstairs complete with straw so that needs to be worked on 
And then you have an underground garage, one car. Looks like they had it insulated, not sure if the garage door opener works. Um, you have some signs of moisture. You still have an old fuse box I'm with a pony panel. I'm guessing 60 amp. Some of the electrical, but not all of it, is cut. And you do have some hydraulic pressure here. Well, I'll try and get a quote on that all along that wall, probably because the gutters have failed. And you do have some cracking here on the front uh, portion as well. We'll try and get that checked out for you. And that's it. Here's a view of the basement. You can actually turn that into something nice once you get the, the water under control and get the mold out. Okay, we're coming down to the basement. It does have some issues. That possibly could be asbestos tiles since they're nine inch. Here's where you've had water damage that came down. You'll probably want to rip all that out. You had a little bit of standing water in there. Um, you've got obviously visible signs of mold. That's all going to have to be removed. You do have an old storage tank. Um, and you've got where the chemicals the furnace used to be and is not. And you've got washer and dryer hookups back there and a laundry sink. There's your 220. Not sure if you can see that with this or not. And there's the laundry tubs. So that all needs to be repaired and replaced.